everybody thinks they know how to put on a respirator or a suit, but until they do it and sit down and take it off, it's quite different. Rutgers was contracted to do this training by the New Jersey Department of Health. There's a need to do training and get information out there on how to wear personal protective equipment to protect workers from potential e Ebola virus exposure. We've got local health departments, police, fire, EMS. There was a didactic training with uh, PowerPoints. And then the last part of the training was a hands-on training where people got dressed out in the equipment. It's not just putting on a suit. It's putting on a hood, a face shield, a respirator, then putting on a suit, two pairs of gloves, maybe two pairs of booties. And in this particular case, we had two to three workers and then one trained observer instructing them how to put things on and off. I had seen a lot of videos, but I had never actually done it before. So to put it on, you can see the difficulty in it, especially when they sprayed you full of shaving cream and then you had to try to take it off and not get it on yourself. It's definitely something that you have to do repetitively. You can't just put it on once and think you're proficient at it. This training, while it's specific today for Ebola, is actually very valuable for any type of epidemic or even a chemical exposure. This is emergency preparedness training and what we really want is for people to think about how they would react and how would they would prepare for situations like this. The other thing that we want people to be able to do is to be able to provide training to others in their community, within their organizations or agencies. But the most important thing is to make sure that all workers are protected. We need to always be prepared for all of these things. And it may not be Ebola, it might be flu or something new in the future that might come out that it's important that we know how to do these sorts of things. If you work in public health, um, we've seen SARS come down the road. We always see emerging pathogens on the horizon. So it's a good training for what we've seen in the past and what we may have in the future.